welcome back to the channel welcome back to the kitchen and welcome back to another video and today i'm going to be trying some more military rations now if you guys have followed my videos on this in the past um, you'll know that i've tried a uh, various different amounts of our canadian military rations um, which were provided to me from a friend and that same friend has also managed to get me some uk military rations which i have right here so uh today i'm going to show you what you get in this kit uh, i guess compare it a little bit to what we get in the canadian rations um and then i'll pick something out of here uh to try as well because i've had a quick glance at it as you can probably tell the bag's already open i just opened it to, again just to make sure that nothing was compromised in the bag nothing was broken or exploded or anything um other than that this will kind of be a first look um for you guys and myself together here on camera and then yeah like i said i'll sh i'll show you i guess which um option I picked here, we'll go through everything in here, and then as I said, we'll pick something out of here to have because just having a look at the menu, sounds like everything is going to be really, really good. So without any further ado, let's jump right into it. All right, guys, so hopefully you can see everything okay from this angle. Um, but yeah, so basically the menu that I've chosen here, well, it's just called menu one. So I guess I'll just kind of show you there. So it would be impossible to see on camera, but we have our little Union Jack there. We have all the information, the pack date and everything. And then we have um, basically a rundown on here of what comes in this kit. So I chose menu one, which uh, we have some pork sausage and beans and tomato sauce, meatballs and pasta. Um, I should also mention before I get into this that this is a 24 hour pack. So you get one of these. And I guess in theory, it's supposed to last you 24 hours. So I guess breakfast, lunch, dinner, and then I guess breakfast the next day or lunch, dinner. I don't know, but it's supposed to last you for a 24 hour period. Um, it definitely feels like it's pretty stacked in here. So let's just go ahead and open it up. So the first thing we'll pull out is kind of an extra little bag. Um, I'm, I think maybe this is supposed to be maybe like a little garbage bag. There's some other little bits in here that'll be useful. Like you have a package of napkins. Um, we have our kind of standard fork, our spork actually, which is a lot bigger than the Canadian ones, but actually, yeah, I still have one here in the kitchen. So, all right, sorry about that guys. I had to run, my battery was dying. But yeah, so just to uh, recap quickly. So this one here, the white one is the UK ration spork. This one has the Canadian ration spork. So as you can see, obviously the UK one, a little bit bigger, probably makes life a little bit easier for eating, but there we go. So there's one difference that we already see. Um, so yeah, so we got the spork. And now this just seems to be kind of repetitive stuff in here. I guess some e quick and easy things. So we have some tea bags in here. Uh, you know, we have a, an alcoholic wipe for, I guess, wiping your fingers or wiping your face afterwards. Um, we have some little packages of some coffee whitener there. And that's basically everything that you have in this kit. And then, as I said, I'm pretty sure with how big this bag is that you can also use this bag for any kind of garbage afterwards so we have all that in here we'll just toss it away quickly so that's in that bag basically you got your spork i guess you got some tissue some napkins coffee creamer tea things like that and then we get into some more of the big stuff so here's one of our packs so this is our meatballs and pasta uh this is our pork sausage and beans in tomato sauce uh not sure i think i'll definitely be trying one of these two uh things in a short little while here uh, what else do we have in here? We have chocolate cake and a nice little package there. Um, I guess kind of standard like we got in the Canadian rations. We have some different drink powders here. So we have some energy drink powder here. Um, this one just says drink powder with flavor. Does it say what flavor? It doesn't say what flavor it is. So I guess we'll just have to maybe try this one and see what flavor it is. Uh, we have some fruit, fruit flavored drink powder. So again, pretty standard. You got some different options if you don't want to just drink some water. Uh, again, we have some energy drink powder here. This one I can see is orange flavor. Um, like here we have, I guess, a bit of a trail mix. It's some dried fruit mix. So in this we have some raisins, some cranberries, some uh, pineapple, oh, pineapple juice, pineapple syrup. So yeah, just a little, I guess a little, um, Fruit mix, some dry, some grapes, and some dried cranberries. Oh, we have, I guess, uh, an Indian dish here. Uh, Pindi Chana Alu. I probably pronounced that horribly. I apologize if anyone watching for that pronunciation. Um, but essentially, this is, oh, this is a vegetarian meal. So it's uh, chickpeas, tomato paste, uh, potatoes, tamarind. Sounds really good. If you guys like Indian food, which I do, 
Uh, I'm sure this will be really good. And of course, I guess we can say not really a surprise that this is in uh, the UK ration kit as Indian food is a really big thing over there in the UK. Um, we're almost at the end of it. So we have a cookies and cream flavor bar. So I guess for a nice little snack. Uh, we have some oat digestive biscuits, pretty much a UK staple. Um, we have, oh, we have some mixed peanuts here, so just nuts, so peanuts, almonds, and cashews. And I'm going to assume that you can either eat these separately or you can mix them together and make your own little bit of a trail mix, which would be awesome. Um, and then just to round out the rest of the bag, we have, oh, we have some hot sauce, so some sambal hot sauce. Uh, what's this? We have a little, I guess like a little puree strawberry tube. I'm not sure if this is yogurt or not. It doesn't say yogurt on it. But yeah, a little fruit, fruit puree, I guess, again, for a, a nice little light snack. We have some matches, because of course you never know when you're going to need these. And of course, these would come in handy for uh, starting a fire to heat up your water to actually cook and heat up um, some of your foods. And then, what are these? Oh, we have some water purification tablets. So these are definitely not for eating. Um, I think these just help to actually make your water safe for use. Maybe for cooking, for cooking use. Yeah, I know. Add one tablet to a liter of water, leave for 30 minutes before using. Definitely says do not swallow tablets. So yeah, I think this is basically a water purification tablet. Just makes your water a little bit safer and cleaner to use. And that's it for our kit. Bring you guys in for a little bit of a closer look. So. Again, these are kind of our hot food packets. So this is, again, the pork sauce with the meatballs and the, um, the aloo. Um, so I guess that's kind of, so you have your, your hot meals there. You have your dessert here with the chocolate cake or I guess a snack. You kind of have your little snacks here. So the fruit and the nuts. Um, I guess we have a little bit of a snack thing there with our little strawberry puree. Some hot sauce to add on to the hot food. This is kind of our drinks section. So again, we have the energy drink. Um, random drink flavor. I'm not sure what that one is. Fruit flavor and then our orange energy drink powder. Basically dried Gatorade or Powerade. Um, we have this, which oh, will focus, is our hot chocolate drink powder. So again, heat up, obviously heat up some water, pour this in, give it a stir. You have instant hot chocolate. Um, I guess this is kind of our, our little cookie or snack section. So this is the cookies and cream bar, the digestive biscuits. These are the water purification tablets just for a slightly better look our matches, and then this is the kit that has, again, our coffee whitener, our tea, our spoon, our tissues in it. And yeah, that's everything that basically comes in your 24-hour UK ration kit. Let me just bring over the big bag, give you guys a little bit of a better look at this. So again, you can see there, 24-hour 24 24 hour ration pack, menu one, you have everything there, your pack date. And then I guess if you want to give your opinion, you can scan the QR code there and maybe win 200 pounds nice anyways i'm gonna put most a, a few of these things away and then we'll pick one or two things here to try i'm thinking it's late afternoon let's try maybe the pork sausage and beans with i don't know let's maybe go with the chocolate cake anyways let me just get that set up real quick and i'll show you the process because it's actually pretty similar to how we do the other rations if you remember from those videos but yeah let me get that set up quickly and then we'll get to cooking and trying. Right guys, and just because I did some extra little reading off camera, um, I've learned that if you actually read the packaging, you see that the fortified energy, energy drink powder with flavor actually tells you on the back what flavor it is. But pretty much if you actually read the back of the packaging, um, you see that, well this one in particular is apple, peach, iced tea, and or strawberry. Now, I'm not exactly sure which one, um, which one of the three it is, or if it's maybe mixed into all three, but in a second here, I'll open it up and um, we'll find out. So opening it just by smell, it smells like it's probably a peach iced tea flavor, but um, yeah, let me grab a glass and some water and we'll mix it up and we'll see exactly what flavor it is and how it tastes. because. Smells pretty good. Obviously, you guys can't smell it. I wish we had smell vision but here, just imagine peach iced tea flavor. Okay, I'm, I'm going to get a glass. I should also point out that the packaging doesn't give you any kind of ratio for how much water to uh, mix you should use. So basically, I poured the package in. The package of powder kind of went up to there. Kind of basically filled my, glop, my, my, glop, my cup with water. 
and then we're just gonna give it a stir. I apologize if you hear any weird noise in the background. It's just my uh, hood fan going, just so that the house doesn't stink up with gas smell. But yeah. Um, Five minutes later. All right, guys. So after about a solid 30 seconds of stirring, um, everything is dissolved. Again, this smells really good. This is definitely the peach. Well, it smells like peach, so let's give it a quick taste test. You can see there the color. Not super clear, but I don't know. It smells really good. Yeah, it's definitely the peach flavor, and it tastes really good. Now, I didn't use the coldest of water. I'm sure if you use cold, a little colder water, it might be a little better. I'm sure if you wanted to, you could also put hot water in there. But yeah, again, after I actually read the package to see, have an idea of what flavor might actually be in the package, this is pretty good. Anyways, we're just waiting for the water to heat up and then we'll cook our pork and, pork and sausage. Um, and I decided not to go for the whole chocolate cake. It's a bit later as I'm making this video and trying to eat this. So we're just gonna try the cookies and cream flavored bar, which I guess while we're waiting for the water to heat up, we might as well give us a quick taste test now. So again, pretty unassuming package. Package is gray, obviously very clearly labeled as to what it is. Um, let's go ahead and open it. Ooh, okay, I wasn't expecting that. I guess, eh, you know what, not too bad. Pretty dark bar, so I guess it's, I don't know, dark chocolate, milk chocolate. I didn't actually read the ingredients, but um, it looks like it's kind of like a Rice crispy, almost based treat, so. Hmm. So it's essentially a Rice crispy based treat, basically coated in chocolate. You can taste a bit, um, I don't know, the cream or the white chocolate inside of it. I don't know exactly what's in it, but it tastes like cookies and cream and it tastes really good and I can hear the water boiling behind me. So let's go drop in our package. All right guys, so as the package said and as standard with basically every heating up of their rations, um, we have our water. It's not a super, super rapid boil, but it's at a decent enough boil. So we're gonna just take our whole package as is. You're not gonna open it or anything. We're just gonna just drop it straight into the water like that. It's not gonna quite cover all the way to the top right now, but it's definitely gonna be enough to heat it up. And as it says, seven, eight minutes. So we're gonna set a seven minute timer and I'll come back to you in seven minutes once this is warm. All right, everyone. So just like that, through the magic of television, it's seven minutes later, our pouch is out. It's very warm. It's actually not too, too bad. It's warm to the touch. It doesn't feel super piping hot, but well, actually, no, I lie. It is pretty hot to the touch, which means all the food inside is very nice and warm. Remember, the package said you could eat this cold as well if you wanted to. And simply all we have left to do is open the package and dump it out. Now, of course, if I was out in a field somewhere, I would just open up the package and probably eat it right out of the bag. But I'm sure you guys want to see how this turns out as well. So we're just going to pop it into our bowl here. And ooh, that actually looks, it looks and smells. Again, I wish you guys could smell this. So there you go. There's the empty pouch. Um, and then we have our lovely pork and beans. Whoop. Yeah, we got a nice pork and beans. Okay, so it's been a minute just so this can cool off. Just a touch. So, um, I don't know how well the camera's gonna pick. Let me come closer to you guys. So we can see there we got our pork and beans. Um, the bowl's a little bit hot. So we have nice, sorry, big chunks of pork. I guess a little pork rolls. And obviously we have our baked beans in there all wrapped in a lovely tomato sauce. So. Let's give it a quick little taste test. Get a little bit all together here. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. Now, small disclaimer, um, in that with this kit that I have, everything is well before the expiry date. I guess no one's fault really, just due to, I guess, circumstances of when I actually received the rations and they were getting rid of old stock. Um, not everything, but some of the stuff that I had with the Canadian rations, some of it was either just like slightly expired or close to expiry. So um, I did expect that this would taste a little bit better just given that factor, but just overall, an overall taste. The tomato sauce is actually nice and thick and hearty, which I guess is what you want if you're out on assignment somewhere or even just for a quick meal at home like this is. I mean, what did that take? That took, with setup, that took about 10 minutes to actually cook and you get a nice meal, which I can already tell is probably gonna be very filling. Um, the beans are cooked nicely. The pork little sausages here have a nice uh, taste to them. Again, everything heats up evenly and nicely. So it's just a really good all around meal. Um, 
obviously I might eat the whole thing on camera in front of you guys, but yeah, in terms of taste, this is really good. I'll give it a solid, I'll give it a 9 out of 10. Um, I think the pork, it has a good flavor. It could maybe have a few more spices in there, but I feel like they went with a fairly generic um, overall flavor. I don't want to make anything too spicy or too over the top. I guess it's kind of a safe option. I kind of will go with any of everyone's palate. Um, but yeah, I'll give it a solid 9 out of 10. Again, personally, if I'm going to nitpick, I'd have a bit more maybe flavor in the pork sausage, but that's just me. And yeah, overall, everything I've tried in this kit so far, this, the little cookies and cream bar, the drink, I don't have a, at all off to the side. Right now, it was really good. I'd give this whole meal a solid 9 out of 10. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it for this video here, guys. Um, this series is going to be back a little bit. Um, I'll make videos trying everything else um, in the kit, so stay tuned for that if you want. Um, if you've missed any of my previous videos, um, they'll all be part of this same playlist, so you can go back and watch all the other videos that I've done. And then hopefully we get to do some more and try some different meals in the future. But as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel for more. Follow me on Instagram as well for some more updates with things that are going on. Man, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.